I don't want to say that we are old fashioned, but we are well established in our technologies. We are using approved processes when we develop standards. Yeah. And um, all the world around is, is turning into service orientation. What, what is your feeling about? Does this have an effect on standardization in the future? I think very clearly, yes. We have, we have also to take that challenge. Uh, and uh, it's all driven by the, the, the big uh, effect or a tendency of digitalization of our industries, of course, of our technologies, and also of our uh, societies uh, in, 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 in all. And uh, that means that also the way how we are creating standards in the future has to adapt to this digital world. We have to become faster, we have to become more flexible, we have to use digital tools. Uh, we have to, if you want to, to manage a digital transformation of the standardization as well. Yes, that's what we are um, convinced as well, because we, we think the, the classical approach to standardization um, m might not be the future, because uh, we, we see the need for a project-oriented um, approach to standardization, because the classical approach might not be appropriate for all technical sectors where we are working in. So we are convinced that we are need a flexible structure that our technical expert um, have to be quite flexible when they uh, want to contribute to standardization projects and these more or less static pro pro process we have currently mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, should really change into a project-oriented um, approach to, to standardization. Mm -hmm. And we have to work more and more also across different domains and uh, across different segments. We have a clear tendency also of uh, technology convergency in, in different areas of our world and uh, that's also something we have to to uh, accept in our standardization mm. activities and where we have to adapt to. IEC General Meeting 2016. Connecting communities, reinvent standardization.